cold shower. You want me to wash my coochie with ice? I'm so tired. Okay, 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 okay. Before we start, I have to pee so bad. Y'all just gonna have to wait one second. Hey everybody, I'm not gonna lie, my breath is kicking right now. This shit is barking like a dog. Today we're gonna be trying to do the billionaire morning routine. I've had this video idea in my notes for so long, y'all. And I've always wanted to do it, but I just didn't want to wake up early. And last night I watched the video, and he didn't say nothing about waking up early. I'm sorry. I'm just going for what I'm hearing. He didn't say not one thing about, oh, I wake up at this time. So I'm not gonna wake up at no other time. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna specify. He didn't specify. But basically there's a video on YouTube of this guy, and it's literally called called one billion dollar morning routine habits of the world's most successful people and i want to be successful don't y'all want to be successful i know that i'm not a morning person i'm do horribly in the morning i just wake up and go straight on my phone i used to do this thing where i wouldn't go on my phone for an hour and i would just like get ready eat breakfast shower all of that but i don't do that no more i really need to get back into doing that though like that was really good for me so i would just love to get into some healthy habits so we're gonna try that today i don't think it's gonna be easy but yeah hope you guys are ready to try it so no. I'm already breaking some rules here because I'm on my phone, but I sent the link to myself so we have to watch it together to see what we are doing first. I heard that if you could win the morning, you could win the day. Rituals and routines. So you yeah, rituals! And if you get, like how a lot of people do, they, they pick up their phone the first thing and they start reacting. And, <laughs> so let's get into it. As I jump into this again, this is my ideal day. So sometimes I can't do all of this, but I can do as many as I can. First thing I do when I wake up is I recall my dreams. When you're dreaming is that you're actually processing and integrating and working on solutions your subconscious mind to get out of bed and I make the bed you call my dream okay so I'm not supposed to write them down I'm not supposed to just sit here and think about what I dreamed last night and it's so funny because I usually do not remember my dreams ever as soon as I wake up I do not remember my dream when I do have dreams that I remember if I don't speak about them I will forget them within the next 10 15 20 minutes so calling our dream I'm just excited because I don't have to get out of bed yet so last night I dreamed that Brent Fire followed me on Instagram Let me check, cause he might have, and I just didn't realize it. Girl, he follows five people, shut the fuck up. But I had a dream that I was in the car, like with my mom, and we were like in a van or something, and I was in the back of the van, and I just looked at my phone. I was on Instagram, and I just looked at my phone, and it popped up in my notification, Brent Fias followed you. But in my dream, he was following like a thousand people. And I was like, oh, and I freaked out. My mom's like, girl, shut the hell up, I'm driving. Hey, let's make up our bed, bro. That's the next step. Bed is made. Let's see what we're doing next, sir. I'm already tired. You have me do too much shit. Bro, calm down, girl. It was two things. Let's see. Let's see, bro. Do, but if you don't do it, how you do anything is how you do everything. Mm. And have a good Yay. check on Their toes. Like making Sorry, them toes was dry as fuck. After that, what I'll do is I'll go into the kitchen and I'll have a tall glass of water because, you know, we, we use a lot of water and most of us are very dehydrated at night. Your gut is your second brain, your head. Very. Um, then what I do is I do my breathing. Right, I'm thinking about the things I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on here. I'm thinking about excellence. I'm thinking about hydration. I'm thinking about oxygen. Whatever your breathing technique is, I focus on breathing. Whether it's box breathing or alpha breathing, I do a breathing technique because I want to fully oxygenate my body. I do my meditation in the morning and also later in the afternoon or evening, sometimes before I go to bed. But I always do an early morning meditation. I do it for about 20 minutes. Um, I meditate then. Okay. He said to drink a glass of water and then we're gonna do a breathing technique and then meditation. I don't do that, any of that. And I'm open-minded, because obviously the point of this video is for me to try out all of these things. Um, meditation, I attempted at meditating and I just be in my own head. Like, I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do today. I'm thinking about what time I should go to Chick-fil-A. I'm being honest, this is literally what I think of when I'm at meditating. So, I feel like it'll be, be good for us, so let's go. Well, I'm the one doing it, but we're on FaceTime, let's go.
Morning makes my stomach hurt. I can't be the only one. Like my stomach hurts right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's nothing in my stomach. I wake up. I'm not really hungry until maybe an hour after I wake up. And this was not hurt. I mean, it's good. You feel me? I understand the value in it. Don't get me wrong. And I drink water all the time throughout the day. And I understand what he meant by like your body is probably dehydrated because I'm sure that it is. No matter how much water you think you drink, you still be dehydrated, bro. I remember I went to the fucking hospital when I was in middle school. Heavily active around the time doing volleyball and stuff. Playing volleyball like every day at school and I would have my little water bottle. Around that time, I had like heavy nosebleed. My nose would bleed all day, every single day. And it happened. It was going on for like three weeks straight. Just constant nosebleed. So I went to the hospital and they're like, yeah, you're dehydrated what the fuck do you mean i'm dehydrated this guy next he said i have to meditate no breathing technique and then meditation let's do that i have a lot in my mind right now i feel like it would be very beneficial i'm just gonna search up on youtube some breathing technique breathing breathing exercises deep breathing exercise for beginners this thing is to get yourself in the right position so for deep breathing you're much better being upright so either sitting or standing. Right, michelle <laughs> <laughs> Lengthen your spine, so think about lifting the crown of your head towards the ceiling. If you're slumped forward, it's Girl, really get to the breathing. To start, if we shut a breath, which is up here. She talking too much. I have to turn from her. Box breathing relaxation technique. Let's try that. There are when we all experience feelings of stress or anxiety. Every day, girl. In these moments, you can use your breath to help calm those feelings. My oh. breath that hot. That is going to calm the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> dismal swamp hidden beneath its murky waters lies the headquarters of the most box breathing everybody do it with me said breathe up as if you're going up one side of the box exhale and keep doing it until you complete the entire box slow it down some no split clown bum your gold hit sound dumb hold it now crown them where you found them at doc now we have to meditate i told y'all my experience with meditation but we're open minded and we are going to try it Purr! Am I supposed to sit like this, crossed like this? Let's go. How do you meditate? How do you meditate? Find a place where you can sit comfortably and quietly, then close your eyes and do nothing for a minute or so. Thoughts may come during time and that is okay. Then start the audio below and play your mantra at a whisper. <laughs> what the? No, no. I'm sorry I do not mean disrespectful or... Website I went on told me to play that guy's audio. What is he saying? Shoestring? The voice? The mouth? Sound? No, bro. Let's just try to do this on our own. I kind of like that. I like that. <clears throat> that A, B for real. That put me in like a... I don't know. I definitely did start doing this more often because I figured when I started, I was gonna have a lot of just random thoughts about my day, about my life, things I'm stressed about right now. Coming up in my brain, like I knew that's inevitable. And then I'm sitting here like, oh, you know, thinking about everything and I'm just repeating in my head, telling myself, I'm stressed, I'm stress free, I'm happy, I'm content. Those are the three things that I kept telling myself every single time those thoughts would keep coming to me. And after a while, they just disappeared. I wasn't thinking about anything. You know how cool it is for someone with Anxiety and social anxiety to be sitting here and not thinking about nothing. That a what? Okay, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling actually really good right now. My breath is kicking. So when do we get to brush our teeth? That's what I want to know. We're about to see what the next thing is. And the science will meant. From there, I do one or two minutes of just movement, and this could be different. It could be calisthenics. It could be burpees. But I just want to get into my body after I meditate. Boy, I'm not work. I'm not shaking no ass. For me to get my heart rate. Uh, beating. Bro said just get your body moving for a minute or two. Get your heart rate pumping. Get the jumping. That A. Do something. Boo, you chill, chill. I'm gonna be in the studio next week. Chill. He said it does not matter how you get your heart rate jumping. You just gotta get it jumping. One to two minutes of just mild exercise. Oh, you know. If you are OG on the channel, you know exactly what I'm about to do. I'm about to play Just Dance. I'm obsessed with Just Dance. Also, I did not do my intro while I'm over here talking and doing all this. Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name is Kaya or Kai for short. This channel is usually full of a lot of chaos. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, let's play Just Dance, y'all. Dance! I need a coffee or something. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Just wait for me to eat, eat, and eat the plate, eat the utensil, and eat the cup. You know me, you know I have a favorite 
that I play all the time and it's good for you by Olivia Rodrigo. I love this one. I know all the shit by heart. Watch how I eat. Five stars, baby. Clearly, I don't work out. Wait, when do you do? He didn't put. Let me see my phone. Let's just see what's next. I did my one to two minutes of exercise. That was probably like three or four. But what's next? Cause when do I get to listen to music? Why is that not in the routine? You never said, oh, listen to music. Why? Look, I'm not trying to judge. This is the billion dollar morning routine, right? I don't got a billion dollars. I want it. But when do you say, oh, listen to music? It's not realistic. You on different time. I never heard you say, listen to music, listen to Frank Ocean, listen to Brent. Why are you not saying that? And then let me tell you this. When do you take a shit? Because do you not take a shit in the morning? You you don't do You're dookie as fuck. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, why you didn't put uh, around this time I take a shit? He's not human. When do you check your phone? Then you have me working out playing just dance. I have not brushed my teeth. The plaque is surfacing around the whole room. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not about to sit here and roast this man, okay? This is his routine that he's being so nice and caring to share with the world. It's the absolute most productive routine. And I'm not gonna judge him. But when do you at least at least put on what? At least put take a shit, bro. At least put you don't even use the bathroom. From there, I take a shower and I it's cold shower and I. You want me to wash my coochie with ice? You want me to wash this ass with ice? What am I doing, bro? On a realistic, serious note, I understand and I know the benefits of taking a cold shower. Like, say if you bruise your knee, like he said in the video, you would typically put ice on it. It's supposed to help you reset your nervous system. Basically, that's what he said in the video. When I get out, I go through my normal routine, right, of shaving and, and brushing my teeth, all that good stuff. Fine. So he says when he gets out the shower, he brushes them gum. Fine. Brushes the plaque away from the teeth. Um, and that's his normal routine. So for me, that would include skincare, brushing my teeth, makeup and hair. But a cold shower? I love showers because they're hot. Like me, bruh. I feel like the coochie gotta be... I'm so sorry if you're new here. Like, this is just me, bro. We only halfway through the video. This supposed to be a morning routine? Bro, this whole routine gonna take five hours. Let's get more about the investigation, including new details of- Oh no! I don't like this, Chrissy! Chrissy, wake up! I don't like this! Guys, this is gonna be the fastest shower I've ever taken, because I can't do this right now. Why couldn't he just say warm? Like, cold? It's crazy! I don't feel any better. I'm just trying to keep positive thoughts in here, guys. I'm doing okay. I'm gonna set it to a little bit colder. Ah! Sorry. Being realistic here, that wasn't all that bad. It just wasn't all that good. I'm about to do my little daily shit, you feel me? Uh, daily makeup routine, fix my hair. I finally get to see my everyday makeup routine. As of lately, I literally try to do it in 10 minutes because I hate doing my makeup. Just the number one reason why I don't wear makeup as often as I should is because I hate doing it. Because it just takes so long. And I love how it looks. I just hate doing it. He didn't say shit about music, and I think this is the perfect time to do this. This is hip-hop. He didn't say you can't, so I'm gonna do it. Sorry. Bro, I, I have not went this long without listening to music when I first wake up. When I first wake up, that's, I'm listening to something within like the first 10 minutes. For my man fresh to do. Why should I take you on too? I got the dog. No, I'm stupid juice. Hey, yo, yo, y'all can't stand right here. In his right hand was your man's worst nightmare. Loud enough to push his right ear on close range. It was not only dangerous. For makeup, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm about to try to run through this routine as fast as possible. First, just brush my eyebrows and I use that spray again. Look, nobody cares, but I'm gonna tell y'all anyway. I just brush my eyebrows real quick. I literally use mascara. I'm gonna old mascara to fill in my eyebrows. I fill them in ever so slightly. Like, I'm talking, I want them to look like they're just my regular eyebrows and they're not filled in. I just want 
them to look like they're there. Eyebrows are not that important to me. I would just go throughout my day with my makeup done without my eyebrows done because I don't really care. But we're not doing that today. Y'all be asking me for a makeup routine and I promise you it's not what y'all think. <laughs> my recent vibe lately has been natural. Like, you know, make the makeup look natural. Eyebrows are done. Like, literally, that, that's all I'm doing for eyebrows. I know I look purple like the demon emoji, but it's fine because it's just the sunscreen. Next, we're going to get the longest part out of the way, which is lashes. These lashes are from Amazon, by the way. I don't even know what they call. Just know if you ever wondering where I got some, it's probably from Amazon. Throw the glue on. This is duo glue, the blue one. Now that the glue is on the lash, we're just going to leave that there and do our face makeup. I'm going to do primer from NYX, NYX. It's Shine Killer Primer. I don't even know if primer does anything, but I still put it on. This is Il Maquillage Foundation. It's literally a website where you can pick your foundation color based on the answers you provide. This is not sponsored. I wish, but I've been using this foundation for so long. But before we do that, I just realized that I need to do my baby hair. I don't have baby hairs on this wig, but since this is a closure wig, I left like my little sideburns and my real hair out. So I'm just gonna do that, like literally in zero point two seconds. Boom. Okay, back to the foundation. I literally blend it with my fingers. I don't know why. I just feel like it gives it a more natural finish. I've always been a hater to this. When people do their foundation with their fingers, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, just use a brush. But brushes and, like, sponges absorb the product. It's just something about doing it with the fingers now. And I just feel like it's so much faster. But I'm telling y'all, if y'all never did your foundation, your finger. Just try it. Especially if you want to do, like, a natural look. I'm telling you. And this is a full coverage one, too. Sorry for the women and men here who genuinely just don't care about makeup. You probably didn't sign up for this. I have a juicy pimple on my chin. I'm gonna ignore it. Concealer time. I'm gonna do it like that and like that. That's literally it. I usually let my concealer just sit underneath my eyes just for a little bit while I put on my lashes. So this is the worst part. Lashes are on. I still need to dry a little bit. Now we blend the under eye concealer with our finger once again. I like to get the majority of it blended with my finger. And then I'm gonna take a certain brush that I have. It's like this small brush. I'll wet it a little, like I'm literally gonna wet my hands and then dip it into the water. And blend the rest of the concealer. Oh my nose. Okay. Setting powder, this is air spun loose powder. I'm just gonna use the same brush. Cause I be creasing underneath my eyelid. So we gonna blend that out. I say that this routine is like a fast everyday routine. I'm trying to execute the natural look. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, just do this real quick, do this real quick. In reality, girl, you still standing up in the bathroom doing your makeup for like 20 minutes. I'm using the same powder just all over my face real quick. I like my makeup to just look like warm. And although I do not have a warm blush yet, I really need to go makeup shop. I'm gonna do a little mascara underneath the eye. The last few steps are from random palettes. I cannot put y'all on because they're absolutely random. Old and probably super expired. Like, I'm just gonna use the two blush colors that they have in the palette and I'm just putting them on my cheeks and my nose. Another random palette, like same thing. I don't know why I'm not trying to go get a highlight, but it has a really pretty highlight. So I just do that on my nose. Underneath the eyebrow. And then I use my finger to do the tip of my nose and then above my lip. I don't put highlight on my cheeks. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I have oily skin. I just hate how it looks once I start getting oily. Vaseline to the lips. And then setting spray. I bought a new setting spray. I usually use the NYX Matte Finish setting spray, but then I bought this L'Oreal Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extend setting spray. And it made me look so good. I'm not gonna lie, the other night, I was literally on live and people were like, your skin's glowing. I'm like, Bruh, like chill, chill, chill. But I'm gonna do a little bit of this because it's literally like almost gone, and I'm gonna put that on top. And boom. Today is a laundry day for me anyway. I won't be leaving the house. Let's just see what he has for us to do next. I'm over him. I haven't made no money yet. You talking about this a billion dollar routine. When am I, when the money gonna hit my paper? Then I, I make a tea. And my favorite tea is like a brain tea. Um, as I go through it, I sip my tea and that's where I write my journal. I'm a big believer in journaling. I've been doing it since I've been in college. About <sighs> Finally, he is doing something that I already do. Journaling. If y'all watch Arrington, you know, he's one of my favorite YouTubers and he journals a lot. I feel like I probably shouldn't journal here though, in my bed, because the purpose of the video was to make up the bed and you know go about your day and i've already been laying in the bed we're going to make our tea i usually go for iced coffee i was waiting for him to say i make my tea or coffee like bro should i just make a coffee i should just make a coffee what should i do i'm making a coffee bro i don't care it has to cater to my needs too <laughs> Oh. 
When does he eat? You put a nutrients to the brain. You feel me? You put oxy oxygenizing your body. When do you? When are you gonna eat something, my guy? Do you never not eat? Like, what's going on with that? They eat their money. Sorry, I thought that was funny. Once again, don't clown me. I know my coffee's gonna look watered down because I do not let my espresso cool off. I just pour it on top of ice. Don't judge me. I've been trying this white chocolate mocha cream simply because I'm all out of the caramel one. It's not bad. It's definitely, I prefer the caramel macchiato one, but every single time I go to Target, they never have the caramel macchiato one. Pretty damn good if I say so myself. I'm now going to journal at my very chaotic desk. I do have a little computer chair, so that's all that matters. Um, here's my journal. I got it from Amazon, if you're wondering. Also, with the journal, he mentioned that he does different types of journaling. Basically says he writes a to-do list after he journals, and he writes down three things he wants to accomplish for work and three things personally. So I'm gonna do that. And then he mentioned a few lists that he likes to create. We're gonna watch that together, but for now, we're just gonna journal. We got our coffee too, I ain't forget. about me is I overthink a lot and I'm not sure if it's like that with y'all too. I'm sure we got some overthinkers watching the channel. But I overthink so much to the point where I will sit and journal and just write down every single thing that I've overthought for the day. I will overthink to the point where I'm like, why the fuck am I writing seven pages right now? A lot of the times I try to kind of force myself to channel the surface. If something heavily on my mind, obviously those are going to be the first things I write about. So I try to give myself like a one to two page limit. Obviously I feel like journaling more. I'm going to journal more. I try to give my a limit sometimes so that way my brain doesn't venture off and after I'm done talking about my serious top I venture off into talking about little small things that honestly do not matter that I'm just like channeling in the back of my brain with that one page I'm obviously by instinct right about you know things that are on the surface level of my mouth if that makes sense Next up, he said to write a to-do list. I'm not gonna use my journal for that. I do to-do lists every single day. Like, I kid you not, every single day I do to-do lists. Let's see, three things for work and three things personal. Answer all business email, contact and app to schedule a promo. One more thing for work. Well, I wouldn't say work, but if y'all don't know I'm in school, I'm about to transfer, so I need to apply to colleges. And then personal, we're going to finish laundry. I don't know if this is realistic, because am I gonna do all this today? Probably not. I wanna finish washing my laundry, because you see this whole pile of clothes on my couch. Yeah. I'll be waiting so long to do my laundry and I don't know why I do it because I have a washing machine and dryer. I'm gonna write down finish washing laundry and I'll put them all up. Not today. I'm being realistic. I'm not gonna do it today. We're gonna do a face mask tonight. That's personal. What's something I could do for personal? Um, text Brit Fias to see how his day going. I'm laughing. But yeah, to do list. You guys are not gonna see me doing the to do list. This is just the morning routine portion. In addition to my to-do list, I also have a list uh, to feel this. We are, a lot of our, uh, who we are is our states and emotions. All right, sir, you talking a little too much. Tell me what's next. He says in addition to his to-do list, he makes a to-feel list and a to-be list. And I think that's cool. So basically, I'm going to be writing what I want to feel today and who do I want to be today. Now for the to be lit. I want to be a good friend today, a good aunt to my nieces whom I speak to literally every single day, a good partner, a kind person, a creative person. That's who we're gonna be today. That's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna be today. Good for me. Her. Man, this man, he must have all the time in his world. When you rich, can you buy time or something? Like I just, I just don't understand how he has time to do all this every single morning. And then what's getting me is you're not doing nothing I do. You ain't getting no bitches. You not going on Instagram. You not going on live, bruh. You not making no TikTok. I'm watching the video and he said he makes a smoothie next. I don't have no blender. What's next? If I have time, I will, and I'll make time for the things that are most important, is I read. I read for about 20, 30 minutes. So Yeah! Finally something that I did. Her, bruh. Cheers to him.
Right now, I'm gonna be reading My Best Friend's Exorcism. I started this book so long ago, probably like beginning of this year. I didn't finish it. One thing about me, bro, I be starting books and I just genuinely do not finish them. I'm in the middle of reading The Post Mortal. This one right here. I literally just made a TikTok the other day on my spam account. I was reading this book and people were like, you're still reading this book? Yeah, because I keep taking breaks and I read something else. And I've also been reading the self-care book that I got on one of my vlogs. It's called Don't Worry, 48 Lessons on Relieving Anxiety. Like, I finish this whole thing and I just be rereading. If I'm going through a certain thing and I'm like, I have anxiety about something, nine times out of 10, there's a chapter catered to whatever I'm overthinking and anxious about. So I just be rereading it as needed. I judge books based off their cover, I do. The cover looks absolutely insane. The artwork is insane. But I have not really been book shopping. I've only bought one book since I've been in LA. So good for me, you know? How many I buy? How many I buy? Bookstores near me. This book is so like corny, <laughs> but it's funny. We were on page 32. We are now on page 47. Fold the page because I don't have any other bookmark. People got on me because for the post mortem, I used this random dollar bill I found in my jeans. It worked. Don't judge. Let's see if there's anything else that we have to do. The morning is over. My, I do my reading and I really start my day. Thank you, be inspired on YouTube. I just can't be a morning person. Can I do half of this at least? This took everything out of me, bro. It's not morning. You know it's not morning anymore. <sighs> now I'm gonna do something that I'm actually excited about doing. Cause I, I morning's over. I wanna do something that I've been thinking about doing all day. It's productive. This hey, this video is all about productivity. We both know I was not doing nothing productive. Looks like it's gonna be a great day today to get some fresh air like a stray on a straightaway. Mm. Hey you, got a light now, nah, a bud light. Uh, Early in the morning, no! face cool, like a mud fight. Looky here, it's just the way the cookies here. Prepare to get hurt and mangled like Kurt Angle rookie year. The rocket scientist with the pocket uh, wireless. Some people say he might need some psychiatrist. Dude, are you pondering what I'm pondering? No yes, why would the darn thing be wandering? The race card, villain in the place to break shards and leave a face scarred. Groovy dude. What's your number? I don't know nobody and just yell out the window, hey baby, what's your number to me? Check this out, man. Check this out. I don't wanna check you out. You're not better than me. Not to prove to be rude, but this stuff is like what you might put on movie. Get it like a whooping when you holler at your seniors. Dollar, you can overhear the hashish fiend.